Hey everybody, this is Not A Spring Chicken. The big news today is President Obama promises he has a back of the Israelis. Wait, what is that? President Obama promises he has the back of the Israelis? Really? Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. Do they care? Yeah, well, they just have fun, so. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, the, um, Obama has now officially got the back of the Israelis, which means Israel is going to, you know, they're supporting him wholeheartedly. They're cheering in the streets. Of course, no, um, yes, so there's, the only people on earth that believe that is the person that wrote the thing for the teleprompter that he actually he didn't read a tele, didn't teleprompter when you already did what? he went up with notes in his hand because oh, they didn't let him have a teleprompter at the airport but don't worry the president of the United States so not to alienate his Muslim friends is going to um, he's going to meet with the Palestinian Authority after he meets with uh, met with the president of uh, Israel and then he's going to Jordan to meet with the Muslims over there. He's spending, he's spending less time meeting with the, his so-called friends than he is with the people that want to bring the country down. And Lulimon Supplier says the company approved the see-through yoga pants. I haven't seen the problem with the pants. They're well, pants, for Christ's sake. They're nothing but exercise pants. I don't know. It's like if you do a lot thin, thin material that's stretched enough, you can kind of, you know. Well, I know. The, I, I saw, they were talking about it last night. That uh, one, what's it? One of the guys on on, on the news show said, "I was going to go buy my wife a set of those pants." And then I looked at him. You can't see, you can't see anything through them. So what's the big deal? Well, maybe that's just to get people to pay attention to them. That's probably what it is because there's no. Um, uh, okay, basically they've enabled both houses of Congress to approve the Keystone Pipeline without the president's consent because. Everybody but the Liberal Democrats all agree that it's going to add 100,000 jobs to the economy, and they're all union jobs. You think those union, those union senators are going to say, well, screw you, union member. Mm -hmm. we're got, we're, we got the office, and we don't need you. Well, no. No. The unions are really jumping up and down about the fact that Obama... They'll have jobs. Yeah. I mean, it's a, we're talking truck drivers. We're, talk, we're talking teamsters, pipe layers. Uh, every type of person you can think of, 120,000 union jobs. Well, and the people that are doing that, those are specialized jobs. That, they make lots jobs, of money. They make a lot of money, but if they don't have those jobs, it's not transferable to where they can make similar income in something else. Yeah, the Speaker of the House and one of the top senators has already said that, Mr. President, we're going to go, you either join with us or we're going to go around you because we don't need your permission. We have state permission, and the states basically have granting permission for it to be done. Mm. So, and Arctica concerns grow as tourism numbers rise. Uh, yeah, well, I have no. Okay, the the uh, the tourism bit is that a ship parks alongside, and they shoot pictures from the ship because they don't get off the ship because there is no docking facilities for Arctic, you know, for uh, big ocean liners to park in the area. But they're thinking, well, well, they're bringing these big ocean liners in. Well, they, you know, I, I also remind people, until the Ice Age, that North Pole and South Pole were green. There is actually, there's actually green ground. Uh, there's ground underneath the ice. And someday, that stuff is just simply going to go back to the way it was. You're going to have new landed continents, whether the Democrats like it or not. They're, you know, remember, we've got global warming. And Obama arrives in Israel, vows undying U.S. support. That's that's what they're they're, they're basically. They're, they're <laughs> that's what we were talking they're, about. They're I got your back. They're all laughing at him. This <gasps> guy, the, 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 they say Israel is going to attack Iran. Uh, they they're not going to let this man know because the everybody in the universe. That's what the Jews last night were talking about. He said that you can uh, uh, imagine, uh, you know, when Iran, when Israel starts to attack. The President of the United States on the red line to Ahmadinejad, he said, okay, they're sending 150 airplanes to attack your nuclear facilities. Should we shoot them all down or should you shoot them down and then claim that you shot all the ones down we shot down? Because he's already told the Iranians once that something was going to happen. They know uh -oh. it came from the White House blowing the whistle that they were building a secret base 
where they didn't have to fly over air of airspace. Mm -hmm. They're going to fly over air of airspace. And they're going to, and the way it works is one of the people said last night, they're going to take out every Arab military base uh, on the way to attack Iran. So it's not going to exactly be a secret as they're blowing up all our planes from Israel all the way to Iran. The U.S. ambassador to Syria, no evidence to back chemical weapons report. I know that, uh, uh, okay, they, what happened is, is that the President of the United States has said if they use, you know, the, the line in the sand, which actually we've seen the line in the sand that the NAB done so many times, that if they use chemical weapons, he's going to bring American troops in. No, he's not. They're, they will find, okay, we'll put it this way, if the Assad did use chemical weapons, the President of the United States would not commit one soldier no matter what he says. Mm -hmm. North Korea's Kim supervises drone attack drill. Yep, because they're preparing. Okay, uh, they have one million soldiers on the border between uh, North Korea and South Korea, and you can shoot a drone down with a bow and arrow. They travel at 40 miles an hour, for Christ's sake. You can spit on a thing and shoot it down. Then if you got that many people watching, they'll see where the drones are and others. They, I mean, I would not, but you think the anti-aircraft fire in World War II, which actually I actually did see, was thick. You won't see anything as thick as what's going to happen uh, when they start trying to fire drones into North Korea. First of all, we fire a drone in North Korea. I'm guessing that the Chinese will fire a missile into South Korea. Hmm. And lose China visit ends its focus on currency and cybersecurity. They, I mean, they, they, it's just um, nobody can understand why they would pick a guy that basically hates business as much as he does and allow him to be the Secretary of the Treasury. I mean, uh, as incompetent as Geithner was, this guy is a, is a he, he, he will do anything he has to do to booster the unionism in this country and destroy business. Mm -hmm. And an Italian president seeks way out of political stalemate. Well, yeah, because even though they, he won, his party won the election, the former the former head of the country who didn't win re-election actually controls the government because he has the coalition. So it's, I mean, it's, it's parliamentary, parliaments are coalition governments. And which is, yeah, I love it. Well, we want the United States to become a parliamentary system. Well, a parliamentary system still has to have, it's still got the same problems that they got now. He's the head of a government that he cannot be in, in charge of. So I mean, he'll, he'll never, they don't want, basically, he won the election on austerity and a socialist country never is going to have austerity. And must voters have to prove citizenship to register? They're supposed to. You're supposed to have identification for Christ's sake. And yet, okay, the Supreme, the, what the, the court system did was let Obama have the presidency in 212. Mm. The, he would not have been elected president if they'd have let the voting laws go in that were passed, that were perfectly legal to be passed, saying you have to present identification to be able to vote. Mm -hmm. You can't, I mean, like the one guy said, I can't cash a check, you can't buy cigarettes, you can't buy alcohol, you can't do this, you can't do that without identification. The only thing you can do is decide who's going to run the country and make the laws without identification. Mm -hmm. And rise of Latino population blurs U.S. racial lines. Not really. Okay. Um, that what it is is they're saying that the Afro Americans will vote with the Latinos. No chance in hell. What? <laughs> okay. I'll guarantee you if you put every Latino candidate that runs has the equal amount of black voters in the community voting against him, they will not support black candidates. Uh, that, that they will not support Latino candidates. The same as Latinos will not support a black candidate. They do not like one another. So they will vote with the white people, folks. And China replaces Britain in world's top five arms exporters. Yeah, because they're, they can, they're, if they have a, it's why the country you can walk on the pollution because they're turning, their factories are just turning everything out. But it's they're, industrial age in it's China. It's industrial age in China. And they no longer, okay, here it is. The United States produces sophisticated weapons. Canada produces sophisticated weapons. Britain, Great Britain produces sophisticated weapons, the more sophisticated they get, the less cells you have. But the problem is, is anything that we build, the British build and the Canadians build, can take out anything the Chinese are building because they're not that good. Well, I didn't realize that Brit the Britain was actually building them. <laughs> yep, they build tanks, they build ships, they build aircraft. Remember, um, Rolls-Royce is one of the big 
producers oh, of jet engines. Oh, that's and, true. And they built some of the best tanks in the world in Great Britain. And Screaming Flower Girl's memorable entrance. I know. They, some poor little girl didn't want to be at a wedding, so she made a lot of noise. And they, had to, they had the mother had to take her out. Oh. Remember, Isn't little, that typical for a flower girl? Yeah. Little That's girls don't so want to be part of weddings any more than little boys do. I used to do that, and I really hated that, folks, because I was the only male in the family to do things. So. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. If you're not prepared to lose, you're never going to win.